Now's the time, Portalmaster. Hey everybody, this is Mike with SkylanderNuts.com. I'm back again to do another Skylander Superchargers character review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Supershot Stealth Elf and the Stealth Stinger. In fact, we even have a couple special painted variants to look at as well. Now, this version of Stealth Elf is a special new version of the character. Her Supercharger character is going to have a brand new set of attacks, and we'll get to look at those later when we start to look at her gameplay. But she has had a figure in every game except Trap Team. Some people might argue she was in Trap Team because we had Whisper Elf in Trap Team and you could play with her and she had the same attacks as the old Stealth Elf hat. But this Stealth Elf, like I said, will have new attacks so when we get to look at those we'll have to decide if she's better than before or not. Alright, well let's move these out of the way. Let's get a close up look at Super Shot Stealth Elf. Now this version of Stealth Elf focuses on this brand new gun that she has. That's right, I said gun. She is no longer a melee character. Well, she does have a melee move, but she is pretty effective at range now with this um, dagger cannon. That's what it's called. It's a wooden cannon. You can see the wood markings, and it shoots some sort of either birch wood or maybe that's bone. I don't know, but it shoots these hard sharp daggers which makes her a very different playing character she's still our favorite elf though she's got her elf ears she's got a green and yellow jumpsuit on outfitted with these black glove and boots that's pretty cool uh, and you can notice this helmet on her head she's got like this fighter jet helmet on that's because she's going to be flying in helicopter the stealth stinger as her signature vehicle in superchargers She's pretty cool. Look, she's even got her blue ponytail. It's a little lighter blue. It's kind of cool. Um, but you got to have this helmet specially made with this little port in the back for her ponytail. So that's kind of cool. And you can tell this helmet's got this wood grain on it. It's going to match the Stealth Stinger when we look at that in a second. But a pretty cool character, a pretty good version of Stealth Elf. They're getting more and more detailed every time they come out with a new version of these characters. But like I said, she has an alternate variant. You could get this one in the Dark Edition of Superchargers. This is Dark Supershot Stealth Elf. It's the same exact pose, same exact character, but she's in all black and gray, uh, silver. So pretty cool, just like all the other dark colored Skylanders. Now, she's just dark colored. She's not a dark element. She's still the life element Skylander, even in this version of her character. You can tell that right there on her engine. It still says life. But the engine here is silver, where before it was that gold. Even though she's in that dark paint color, she keeps her blue ponytail. you got to keep the iconic signature of the character, and that's her blue ponytail. So that will not be black or silver, and that's pretty cool. The rest of her character, though, in the special paint. Here they are together, both of the stealth elves. I'm not sure which one I like better. I might go with the regular one, but since they have the blue ponytail and the black and silver, it's that one's pretty cool too. So there you go. Either one will play just the same. I think the dark version may have a upgrade or two right off the bat that you don't have to deal with. Alright, let's fly in the stealth stinger. There it is. This is Stealth Elf's signature vehicle. This is the normal Stealth Stinger. It's all green coated, just like Stealth Elf was. It's covered, this helicopter, in some sort of wooden armor. Either that or it's made out of wood. I don't know. It's got leaf-like blades on it. Those are pretty cool. Even the tail rudder are leaf-like. And, as you can see, both of those spin. So that's kind of fun to play with this helicopter does do something. Now what you can notice here too is this tail fin, whatever you call it on the helicopter, tail rotor tail fin, it's, it's in that same blue as her uh, hair is which is kinda cool. Nice little accent marks in blue. So it's very well matches the uh, Supershot Stealth Elf character. I like how they make these 
um, signature vehicles really match the personality and the character that is supposed to drive them. Of course, anyone can drive it. You just don't get that supercharged bonus. Now, there is an alternate version of the Stealth Stinger, and this is the Nitro Stealth Stinger. We've done away with the natural green and blue coloring for the special nitro paint coloring which includes mostly gold character some white highlights and the white checkerboard the white checkerboard is the signature of the nitro element or not element but nitro versions I guess still pretty cool pretty mean looking with the dark shaded uh, uh, whatever that is wind windshields or we got the same dark on both of them but there they are together pretty cool they work about the same look about the same same poses as I would always say but it's just a vehicle pretty cool alright so there we have each of the four stealth alpha related characters this time this is not the first time we've had a dark stealth elf either. We had one a couple games ago, I think, with uh, Swap Force, a dark ninja stealth elf, if I remember correctly. So she's pretty special. She's got a lot of versions out there. I'm sure you've played with her before, but we definitely wanted to take a look at her attacks because they're all different now. Brand new set of attacks. No more stabbing people with knives and running up to them. Um, but she will still disappear because you can't get rid of that. That's part of her, who she is. She's a stealth She's a stealth elf, so she will disappear, and that's pretty cool, too. So let's get her in the game. I can't wait to show you some of her moves. This is uh, pretty cool to see how I'm a fan of the range characters, so I kind of like the fact that you can shoot people from far away now with stealth elf. So I'll be right back as we get her in the game. Stealth Stinger. Hardwood shielding, lacquered coaxial, canopy piercer, supercharged. All right, I'm back, and I've got Stealth Elf and the Stealth Stinger on the portal. And I'm at Battle Brawl Island, ready to show you the attacks of Stealth Elf. So let's get back into our battle. Now, Stealth Elf is kind of a simple character. She boils down into three basic attacks. But the first I want to show you is her most basic attack, and it's called Dagger Cannon. It's a cannon that shoots daggers. You can see her carrying it around right now. It's pretty big. It's basically a Gatlin gun. So if you hold the attack one button, it'll shoot these daggers at the enemy, and it when you hold it you'll be able to move around a little bit kind of slow but notice it did some pretty good damage there unfortunately yep when you get a lock you can move around dodge these things you can still give it damage look I'm dodging the fire that's pretty cool that's pretty powerful if you can get away and do some good dodging on some slow attacks if they're fast attacks or that wave that the first guy sent out you're gonna have to jump it and break your hold on the enemy but it's pretty good all right and it's been greatly upgraded but I'll talk about that later all right the next attack is called say hello but it's not really an attack well it sort of is it's her stealth mode that she had before and by hitting the attack 2 button you'll go invisible but you won't just go invisible you'll also drop a turret in front of her so let's try that There, see the turrets taking out some enemies there. It's pretty nice. Now, I, in the meantime, I can sneak around. See the green eyes? When the time is up, she reappears wherever you've moved her to. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good thing to do to be able to avoid the enemies and the attacks. Now, you see right now when I do that, the turret is shooting, and right now it's shooting the sheep. And it's even turning and shooting sheep. There's a lot of upgrades with this stealth elf to make all that happen. The basic say hello, it just plants a turret. It doesn't even shoot. But what it does is it allows the enemies to come 
check it out basically and that gets them away from you so it's more of a distraction later you can buy another basic upgrade called to my little friend now when you buy that upgrade this this uh, turret will just start shooting straight ahead alright and that's nice but this stealth elf has the stealth saboteur path the specialization path and this path upgrades some of her stealth attacks and there is an upgrade called acquisition intelligence mode and this upgrade actually allows that turret to move and focus on an enemy so if I point it kind of away here you see how it turned and picked up that sheep unfortunately it looks like it only picks up the first bad guy and once it once it gets it it stops caring uh, maybe not it just won't turn there it goes it doesn't have a lot of time so it really can't do too much but it does look like it requires some targets after destroying one it just takes a while uh, almost too long as the time that the turret is out there is very short alright so that's the turret attack it's pretty good and probably the main focus of the stealth saboteur path. If you're gonna use that path and you're gonna go in stealth mode a lot, the turret is your basically your main form of attack probably. Uh, you can still shoot them with this, doesn't hurt, but you know the dagger or the uh, turret there does just as much damage as shooting them with your gun. At least you will shoot two enemies at once if you use that strategy. Alright, now our next attack is bought with an upgrade and it's called Circle Slash. And when you hit the attack three button, she's going to do an acrobatic spin that hits and knocks back enemies. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it knock back anybody right now. Let's see, does he come out right away? Nope. Okay, good. So there it is. See how far I knocked it back? That's pretty cool. Now, again, this stealth elf has an upgrade from the stealth saboteur path called Spin to Win. And that increases the knockback distance and does more damage to these enemies. So you can see I knocked that guy almost halfway across the screen. That's due to that upgrade. Otherwise, they just knock him back like basically off their feet just a little bit not very far an arena battle like this you know helps to knock them whoa you can knock them right out of the arena alright so those are her basic three attacks there there's the kick the spinning kick it knocks multiple enemies backwards there's the gun called the dagger cannon and the turret when you go into stealth mode. There we go. Now there are some other upgrades I have that make all those attacks a little bit better. Uh, the needle pointed daggers. That is a pretty basic upgrade that gives the daggers in this mode, the regular dagger cannon, more damage. So that's a good good upgrade to get early because you always want to do more damage. As you can see though I'm a little bit slow when I'm uh, using that cannon so I drop my turret, hide, run away from these guys and let the turret do all the work. Look at all that experience. Alright, there's another upgrade here called spin, uh, Speed of the Spin. So when I spin, watch how fast I'm running right now. It's not super fast. But after I spin, I get that little speed burst. See that green? There, she slowed down again. That is from the Speed of the Spin upgrade. So you do that spin, you get a little short moment of extra speed to run around the arena or the map or whatever it is. So it's an okay upgrade, but I don't know how much I really think about it 
when I'm using it. I just, if I need to kick somebody, I kick somebody. And if I'm fast after that, I'm faster. But I probably don't really try to run super far away once I kick somebody. Especially with the knockback. You don't have to. Alright, as I said before, I chose the Stealth Saboteur path. And we already looked at the Acquisition Intelligence mode. That's a pretty cool upgrade. And the Spin to Win is also pretty cool because it, knocking those guys back is very important. But the other upgrade in that path is called Distraction Destruction. Now when the turret is done firing, it'll explode and do damage to the enemy. Now that's another upgrade that's probably helpful but I never really pay attention to. So I'm going to put it right on them. Aww. There it exploded but it wasn't near anybody. That could be a problem. There. It may even explode when the enemies uh, destroy it. Because I believe that's what those little skeleton guys did to me there. Is I put down the turret and they immediately attacked it and destroyed it. Oh, come on, Spell Slander. I do like using that turret with this version of Stealth Elf. Now, if you also notice, watch as I defeat an enemy. You might notice somebody from the past. A little friend of Stealth Elf. Maybe it doesn't work on... Uh, the skeletons there. Or maybe it doesn't work if I don't need it. Now I need it, so let's see what happens. What you should see, and what I see sometimes, is I will get a little health boost from Whisper Elf. You'll see Whisper Elf. That's the Soul Gem ability. It's called Health Elf. And after uh, you defeat an enemy and you have an injury, Stel Whisper Elf is supposed to show up and bring you a health bonus. Now, I was noticing that earlier, but right now I'm not noticing it as much. It's a little hectic to, to notice, but it's good to keep Stealth Elf healed in that way. Well, now let me switch real quick to the other Stealth Elf to show off the Heavy Gunner Path. There's three more upgrades that kind of deal with the dagger cannon in this path. First is called Smog Slash. You create a poison cloud when you exit stealth mode. Okay, I don't know what that has to do with... There's the poison cloud where I was. So, I go over here. There's the poison cloud doing its work. Yeah, I'm not really sure why that's part of the upgrade path to help dagger cannon attacks but it's there so I guess they ran out of stuff to do for the dagger cannon. Alright the next upgrade is called all wound up now and this one's pretty simple the dagger cannon projectiles do more damage the longer you hold down the button so let's see if we can notice 42 51 54 54, 58. So it looks like it has a couple of, um, it only takes one or two shots before it goes up and it hits the 50s pretty quick. But then it only goes up a couple times and then holds still at that, uh, at that damage rate. The last upgrade, and this is going to be hard to see, although this is the time to show it. It's called Splinter Shells. All right, the dagger cannon projectiles will splinter off when it hits an enemy and do more damage to other enemies. So let's see. I don't know if that's going to be... <laughs> Got to find guys right next to each other. There was one, I think. There's a couple. When they're close together, you can see it does that bonus damage. That's a nice upgrade even if you can't tell it's there because you know if there's a lot of enemies on the screen, you're getting that extra damage. You down, 
And one other thing you'll notice about this Skylander is that because we don't have the Stealth Saboteur path, the turret is not auto-aiming on the enemy. So if I place the turret facing the wrong way like that, it's just, it's missing every time. Like, oops. So it's, you gotta be much more precise if you don't choose that path with the turret. See, even that's missing Spell Slanzer. So, there you go. Get it right on them, and it'll do the job. But that's really probably the main difference for the, the two different paths is whether or not you like that dagger uh, turret or not. All right, so that'll wrap up Stealth Elf. I'm gonna switch over now to the Stealth Stinger and I'm gonna jump into one of our Sky Star challenges and we'll take a look at the Stealth Stinger and see what the uh, that helicopter's attacks are like. So I'll be right back in a flash. All right, I'm back. And I've made it to the Gadfly Glades where I'm doing the Sky Challenge there. I thought, hey, Stealth Elf is a life Skylander and the Glades are full of life in the grass and thought it might be a good fit. So I'm ready to get back into that level to show you the attacks of the Stealth Stinger. Now, the Stealth Stinger is an interesting helicopter. It's got some abilities that none of the other vehicles have. Its first ability though is just pretty much the same as the dagger cannon. It, it's called Canopy Piercer. And by pressing the attack one button, you just rapidly shoot acorns at your enemy. You can see they don't do a whole lot of damage, but they are rapid, so they really add up over time. Problem is getting a lock and staying on like an enemy like these bees there I might have got that one it takes a it takes a second to ramp up just like a Gatlin gun does so you're not gonna start um, rapidly firing as soon as you hit the button it takes a few shots before it gets up to full speed you kinda hear it when I shoot these water things oh I'm sorry they're faucets I should have known All right, well, that's her basic attack, and really it's her only attack. So if you don't like that, you're not going to like the Stealth Stinger. But what does make the Stealth Stinger a little bit different and cool is her next ability called Forest Fog. By pressing the Attack 3 button, you can become stealth. You enter your own little stealth mode in the helicopter, and your shields will slowly regenerate. So I took some damage there, and you can see my shields are down. Now watch, if I press the attack 3 button, and you gotta hold it down, I just press it for a second, so I'm gonna hold it down, She, watch my shields come back. She's basically healing herself. Now it ends after, well I don't know what that was, like 5-6 seconds, but you just do it again, and continue to heal yourself. I'm kinda like avoiding the enemies, they don't even really see me, well now they do. They fly right by, they don't shoot me, and I'm healing my, my uh, vehicle. Now, she may not do a lot of damage, she might not be super fast, but that ability can get you through some of the harder flying levels, especially on Nightmare difficulty. Because you can just kind of run away, hide, and heal yourself. It takes a while, I'm only getting a plus 10 there every like second or two but you can definitely get most of your health back on most levels. All right, and then you can go back to taking them out and taking lots of damage. She doesn't have great armor, so you do get, uh, you do end up taking quite a bit of damage with her. So if you're taking too much damage and you're healing too much, it can be quite frustrating and take quite a long time. So she's not the best character maybe in every situation, but there are lots of situations where having that healing ability helps greatly. Oh shoot, I wanted that guy on my tail. I wanted to see what happens if I went into stealth mode. See if I can attract another one. 
to follow me. Typically when somebody's following you, you just do a barrel roll to get away from them. Same thing with the rocket like that. She doesn't really do a barrel roll as you can see, she just kind of dodges, but yeah, that's pretty cool. It works the same. Nobody wants to follow me this time? I'll shoot your last bigot. Your faucet is going to be destroyed. Does anyone care? Alright. Oh, I did it again. I was dodging a missile and and uh, dodging a missile and ended up breaking the lock. Well, either way, breaking the lock's pretty easy, but I would imagine that going into stealth mode will do the same thing. Um, it should allow her to disappear and lose the connection. There we go, let's see. Yep, stealth mode drove it away. It had no idea where I was. So, very unique, very interesting, and it might be worth considering getting the stealth stinger for, just for that ability. Um, just depends on how much you like helicopters versus jets and things like that. So there you have it. There is Stealth Stinger and our Sure Shot Stealth Elf. Now, both characters I think are pretty decent. Um, stealth Elf is a bit of an upgrade as from before. She's got a nice mixture of ranged attacks with her cannon. The stealth attacks really aren't meant to sneak up and do the melee attacks like she used to do. They're now basically dropping that turret and just getting away, taking some time to find some cover and doing a lot of damage maybe while you're doing that. And then if you do get overrun by lots of people all at once, you've got that spinning circle kick that will, you know, deal with most enemies around you pretty well. While it may not have, a, well, she may not have a very strong, powerful, like, finishing move or something that's ultimately super destructive uh, using the cannon and the turret and combining those together she can do quite a bit of damage um, she's not very flashy she doesn't have a whole lot of you know super cool moves her soul gem ability is nice it helps heal you helps keeps you in the level but it you know it's it also is it's very subtle a lot of her upgrades are subtle they do things uh, that maybe could have been done from the beginning, but you know you have to get an upgrade to make the turret actually fire at somebody. Uh, that's cool, but you know it takes some time then to build Stealth Elf up to being a character that is kind of fun to use. So we're gonna give Stealth Stealth Elf a uh, 7.5. She's kind of right there on the verge of being great. Um, pretty good, very decent. And for the Cell Stinger, same kind of deal. Rapid firing attacks, assuming that the enemies aren't too quick to break your lock. And no major missile attack or anything, but a very key healing power. Both of them have this healing power that make them, uh, I don't, I don't want to say worthwhile, but definitely useful to be able to be healed in some of the harder levels and... Uh, continue to be able to play. So again we're going to give the Stealth Stinger also a 7.5. It's probably not the flashiest or best sky vehicle out there but it's got decent speed, it does pretty good in the races and it has the ability to heal itself. For, so for the adventure and the sky challenges that's a big plus. She also has a Sky Stone or the Stealth Stinger Sky Stone that you use when you have this Stealth Stinger on the portal also gives your character five health before it attacks and that would use that every three or four turns that can be a huge helper in the nightmare mode um, skystone challenges as well so an actual vehicle that I would recommend for skystones alright all that said we're gonna give 7.5 to both of them uh, it's really up to user preference I can't say it's a must-have but definitely probably will enjoy the Stealth Stinger and Super Shot Stealth Elf. 
All right, well, that wraps it up for this review. I'll be back again with another look at another Skylander Superchargers character and vehicle. Until then, keep having fun playing Skylanders, and we'll see you again soon.